and his social workers, his team, include this uh, gentleman. He is the senior social worker because he was once on the street, rescued by Sierra Oak, trained and came back, and he is now working with Sierra Okay. I may misspell some people's names. This one you have to buy your tongue. You Mention your name, please. My name is Nika Waha. Nika Waha, Gemanyake. Sir, an instructor in the in the in the skill center. Sir, you are He's security guru guru at the gate John, one of the social workers. He's a gate Gloria, Betty Mutua. is the program accountant. That's our finance manager across the program. And then this lady here, Esther Musede, is also one of the instructors in the tailoring section. I also want to recognize and appreciate our tenants. Those, those who are using our premises. Some of them have gone to the mosques now. But they are represented by a few who are here. El Shaddai and Tim, can you just stand for recognition? One of our tenants is also a former child supported by CRO, the gentleman in the white name. He has come back as a tenant on our premises and he is giving us money to support other children. This Ladies and gentlemen, since the COVID problem, we if it had not been for our tenants, we would not be thriving. A lot of our support is because our tenants are regularly paying the front part there, those shops you oh, see, and we use that money to run the programs that oh, we are running. In addition to our different uh, individual and corporate partners. And for purposes of the record, I want to thank our funding partners, the ex government partners, Elma Masanawa Africa, Elma uh, Havana. When the Gansen, Child of Hope, Child of Hope, uh, Sierra Support Organization and for the scholarships they yes. give our children, Sierra O Foundation Netherlands, Sierra O, and our individual donors among others. We sincerely convey our appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, as I finish, you know, uh, to see these children, you may when I see a child from the street sleeping, I want to leave them sleep. And I want to continue to encourage our staff that if possible, you gather them in the morning, just bring them here, buy some mats and leave them to rest. Because it's one of the human best needs for someone to rest. So, and one of our plans is to run 
residential transit centers, not children's homes, but transit center, a place where you rescue a child, you bless them as you are home tracing, that child is under safe custody. CRO has such a facility in Manyuri that can even provide transit for 50 children at a go. But remember, that's just one thing. We have the base, we have the structures, we have the blankets and everything. But feeding them and treating them as you are moving around to look for their families is very complicated. I've just come to learn of my brother running similar work under Shepard 20 something. We are going to know each other more. Please, we are willing to partner with whoever is available for this kind of work. And unless we actively get involved in this as partners, our donors have problems also. They can't support all these problems. There are many more children who should be in school here. But but due to limited funding, we still uh, have not yet fi fixed them in school. So far, we have some local people who are also supporting. Somebody comes here and says, Is there a child and I can pay school fees at school? And we identify a child. And they support that child. That's very good. And those who are dealing with the families, please, we need to help the families to get on their feet and fulfill their responsibilities. The profession, the child and the family protection unit. And all of us, we need to do something about the family. Because it is the source of all the problems. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate the International Day for Street Children, under the theme, under the theme of belonging, you can look at that picture as I'm finishing. And if you are very observant, you can even see that some children are crying. And the statement is, children are crying, what are you doing? And part of the cries are protect our rights. Some of the cries are saying, save our home. Tasa. And others are saying, save Sierra O. Save our identity. And those voices are not for nothing. Some of them wrote their own things there. Because there's no smoke without fire. We have been running for over 30 years. But we have a challenge that we began experiencing this year. This facility where you, our key stakeholders, are was formerly belonged to the Asians who were uh, just away by Idi Amin in the early 70s. And was later run 
uh, taken over by the Departed Asians Property Custodian Board. And in 1993, those Asians came back and I repossessed this property. In February 1993, and in November 1993, they sold it child restoration outreach. And the child restoration outreach processed the leads and the title for this place. And has been running for over 30 years without any interference. Until January this year, when we came to learn that the departed Asians property custodian board that handed this property to CRO because they gave it back to the owners and the owners sold it to CRO. We again have sold the same to another uh, company. Without even involving us in any way. I don't want to say anything much about it. Because uh, by the time we came to realize this place was being taken away and as we talk we wouldn't even be here. I want to thank everybody, I want to thank the police because they stood with us and gave us security when we shared our papers with them. Uh, and we, we had no option but to run the courts of law. And we are still in the courts of law. But we, that's where our cries are. That justice should prevail. That the truth should come out. And it takes all of us putting our, joining our voices together. We are not fighting anybody. We are not against anybody. But our cry is save our home. Save Save the identity of the vulnerable children who are on the streets. These are voiceless people. No one can listen to them. It's only responsible adults like us who can stand up and cry to God and cry to the authorities and cry to the government. We have shared all this information in your offices. Please break the silence. Don't keep quiet. For the sake of these children. And that's why we invited you here. That we may cry to God together. But also really uh, be practical because praying without action uh, may not be sufficient. I really want to thank you once again. I want to thank our leaders, our pastors, our government representatives here, 
government everybody that you chose to come to stand with us. It was intentioned by the programmer that I share this before we go into prayer. So that we cry what really when we know what we are crying for. Maybe we should tell God to save our home. To save For the sake of the, 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 these children here. I want to thank you all for bearing with my long speech. We also encourage and call upon our all our the people that please we appreciate every contribution if you have some kaunga maize flower and you want to support Sierra or to make porridge for the children when they are being cancelled please give it to us if you have some sugar and you want to help the children, please. If you have some clothes and you want to help these children, how do you know if you will not go into that record where they will say, I was hungry? and you give me something to eat. I was naked that you dressed me. I thank you for God and my country. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you so much, Uncle Paul. For that detailed explanation. We are now going to pray. And now we know what we are going to pray for. We want God to save the home. Children. We want God to save our belonging. And it's a call to everyone. May not be here, but even when you go back to your offices. Please continue praying for CRO. Continue praying to God that you may restore our home. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to worship in one song. And after that worship, I will call upon Pastor Lucius. Who has patiently been here since morning. To pray. To pray. To bless us. Amen. Amen. We are going to worship. You can stand up if you want. Those who are sleeping, you can leave them to sleep. Those who are sleeping, you can leave them to sleep. 